First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. And shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. And it say, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding and you know even though the scripture is self-explanatory this scripture is very very relevant to the time the more that you play around the more that you you know eavesdrop on the videos see what the prophets is talking about but you really don't take heed to the words you know um you think that is entertainment time is getting short you know being a friend of a prophet knowing a prophet believing what he say it's not enough action action you got a lot of people who acknowledge the word but they don't do it. it. Sounds good to them. You know. As the scripture says. It's sweet in your mouth. But when you swallow it. It becomes bitter. And the thing is. The people that I'm talking about. They ain't even swallow it. They ain't even get to the bitter part. It's just sweet in their mouth. You know. I could just imagine. You know. They, they dap you up. Saying yeah brother. That's right. Shalom. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling that. And that's as far as it go. And then, you know, they might tell the other homeboy, maybe even a woman. That's as far as it go. Holiday come up. They celebrate. Pork on the plate. They eat it. And one thing I realized is that. Can't tell a Negro. <laughs> A Latino or Native American, you Israelites, about the dietary law. You got a lot of people who going to eat a missile because they can't stop eating lobster and shrimp, crab, pork, things you ain't supposed to eat. All behind some damn food, which is other alternatives out there that taste just as good and more healthy. And guess what? Everything is a test. Everything in this world is a test. And two thirds are failing miserably. And we even fall short. We looking for grace. But the difference between a man that's trying and a man that's not is the trying, <laughs> applying, doing to the best of their ability. Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. It's very simple. Now, the doing and applying and the trying is not simple. Because you are in this defiled flesh that is um, subjected to sin. But that's why we rehearse the righteous acts. The Lord don't require us to be perfect. He just wants you to try. And he ultimately wants you to believe. Because faith. All right. It's the only thing that pleases him. If you fail in one thing. You fall in all. So the law was always to condemn us. It was to show us how we need him. So if you got any pride. Any, any proudness in you. Then you're not a man or a woman of the Lord. But back to the topic. <clears throat> the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto wise, unto counsel is wise. And of course, the, the scriptures don't have to explain what type of counsel <laughs> you should be hearkening unto. So stop playing around. Time is short. Shorter than it have ever been. Every day you wake up, you closer to the Lord returning. 
and all hell breaking loose. And the Lord is only going to deliver those. Scripture said um, in Sirach 4. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, I want to say 28. Yep. Strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Some of us going to have to, you know, take death. Some of us ain't. Scripture says some of us shall not taste death. So, hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So you don't believe that is a reward. And that's a stumbling block. That's a stumbling block, ultimately. But going back, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. So instead of just listening, apply. Time is short, man. <clears throat> Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls. See, these are the scoffers. And in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. See, these are the scoffers who actually watch the videos for entertainment. We got a lot of scoffers on the um, apostles um, comment board and they're just scoffing. You know, it's so funny that they talk so much shit, but they on every damn video talking shit. So this is definitely a scripture for you scoffers out there. It's entertainment to you at the end of the day, even though, you know, the word is, you know, um, as I say in Hebrews 4 and 12, it's a double edged sword, you know, so it, it cuts you. That's why you keep coming back because it is deep down inside. You know that what the men of the Lord is speaking is true. But the Lord haven't, you know, gave you the mercy to receive it and you just mad and it's okay you'll get it right in the kingdom and lord willing you know i endure to the end because i ain't saved yet and um 31 and they came unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they would not do them for with their mouth they show much love but their heart goeth after their covetousness. We all know what that is. Your lust. Matter of fact, let's see what it say for covetousness. Mm. Bataza I. Bataza I. Said prophet, unjust gain. Gain profit acquired by violence. What does it say? Uh, plunder by extension. Gain usually unjust. Covetousness, dishonor, gain. Lucre, profit. Yeah, so really just come down to money. You know, money that's that's about to be um obsolete. Money that's about to be digital. Money that's about to be into a grain of rice that they're going to try to put inside you. You know, so you still got people who won't even come into the truth because they have a decent job. You got people who won't come into the truth because they're still chasing their dreams. Can you imagine that? They still chasing their dreams in a burning building. You got food going up high as hell, gas high as hell, food shortages, food processing plants being destroyed left and right. The grain and wheat, we already know what's going on with that. With the Ukraine and Russia, that's compromised right now. Then you got um, you got hail, you got droughts. So you got weather messing with the crops. The Lord is doing all this. And he's using Esau Edom, which is his sword, to do these things. And you still got people talking about businesses, getting married, which is all scripture. The days of Noah should be as the same as the days of Son of Man. But let's continue. And they came unto thee as the people come in and sit before thee as many people. And they heard thy words, but they would not do them for their mouth. They show much love, but their heart go up after their covetousness. <clears throat> and lo, thou art unto them 
as a very lovely song. See, of one that have a pleasant voice and could play well on an instrument because this this word it really it really is it sounds good. All right, even though we understand going to um lamentation Ezekiel and two, and then uh, Revelation ten. It talks about how this word is lamentation, mournings, and woes. But the good news is still in the midst of that. Telling you that you're an Israelite. Telling you that the kingdom is for you. Telling you that you're going to, you know, have as many women as you want. Have slaves, have riches, have spiritual power, all that. The sons of Yashar Allah. So, yeah, it's a very lovely song. But as the scripture said above, you hear these words, but you won't apply it. You just think that the Lord going to do something for you. But it's really the world have a um, stronghold on you. You still want what this place have to offer. And this place don't got nothing to offer. And I'm going to continue to keep saying this. You want to continue to breathe in, breathe in chemtrails, eat GMOs, uh, have used women. All right. Having um, a man. Scheming on your woman, a man hating on you, uh, 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 your oppressor ruling over you. And you have to do what he say to get up high in his society. And then you have to compromise your morals and then have a guilty conscience. All the abominations that you have to do to get rich in this world. But anyways, let's continue. And lo, that are unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice. And play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among you. So, we telling you that America going to be destroyed. We telling you that it's going to be a famine. We telling you that it's going to be a lawless society. We telling you that the karagma is coming. And guess what? Since you don't want to apply what you need to do to be saved, you ain't going to be saved. And then you're going to wish that you actually listen to the prophet. Time is short, man. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. And Shalom.